Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking at forehand variations this week. Yesterday we looked at grips. Today we're going to look at stances. And I think, you know, a lot of you out there understand that if you pose the question to me, Brady, how do I hit a great forehand? There's just too many variables with grip, stance, swing to give you one answer. So that's why we want to break all these down this week to really give you a clear picture of how to hit great forehands. So today with stance, three stances that I want to make you aware of. One of them we're going to throw out completely. The other two, we want to use those two. All right, so before I get to them, let's just, let's just look at the positions, okay? If my feet are side by side and I'm facing the court, we would say I'm open, all right? So side by side with the feet is open. If I go left foot in front of the right foot, I'm a right-handed player, let's switch it for the lefty. But left foot in front of the right foot, we'd say this is a neutral stance, or as a lot of you out there know it, more of a step-in stance. And this is how I learned to play tennis. This is, a, this is a solid way to hit a forehand. The third way would be closed stance. And that is where the left leg or the lead leg goes to the outside of the tennis court. And this is the throwaway. There really is not any value in stepping into a ball across your body and hitting a forehand, save maybe that time where you go to continental grip and you hit a squash shot with some slice on it. I tell you what, we'll go ahead and have a look real quick. You know, and you can see my hips are locked, my back kind of hurts. Continental grip, slice forehand, all of it wrong, okay? I made the shot, whatever. Let's, let's not rely on, you know, a closed stance forehand hardly any of the times we're hitting a forehand. So with that being said, let's look at the neutral stance or the step-in stance. To me, there's still plenty of times where this is a viable play for your forehand. Low balls, all right? Reach is really easy to get with a step-in forehand. All right, if you watch, Mark's gonna feed me in a low ball. By stepping out to it, I can really reach that racket pretty far inside the court. Where if, let's say I was open stance, my reach is, is obviously way less. So Mark, feed me a low ball. All right, you can see, I, I promise you guys, I have no chance to even probably make contact with that ball in an open stance. So I love the low. I also love the idea that when I'm in the middle of the court, I've seen Federer do this a lot, where from the middle, you just turn and you step straight in, and it's like the feet line up the swing and it's very easy to keep the ball dead straight, which is why I also like to use it on a down the line passing shot. If you guys get running and have time to set your feet on a down the line pass, try hitting your next couple passing shot attempts down the line with the neutral stance. Because again, I think it allows you to hit that really narrow target because the body and the swing are lined up really seamlessly, okay? Now, the open stance is really the modern stance. Pros are using this way more than the step-in stance, even though there was some value there. Open stance has everything going for it. it. It allows you more power. It allows you more spin. It allows you, the first thing that I, I was ever introduced to with open stance was how easily available the court can be. You know, you think about a cross-court forehand. Mark, go ahead and feed me just a standard forehand here. Okay. As a younger player, before I was hitting a lot of open stance, I could not get that ball so easily to the left side of the court. And then open stance because the rotation of it. All right, think about this, you guys. Our upper body on open stance basically turns off our lower body. So I'm getting that super coiled feeling. So when I unleash that, you know, a la rubber band, the racket so easily can come around the outside of the tennis ball to create that cross court shot. And, and in the neutral stance that I was playing in as a kid, it was so hard to work the ball comfortably cross court. And I think as a lot of you know out there, cross court with most ground strokes is really the setup ball. So open stance 
You know, again, the coiled feeling, I feel like I can generate so much more speed through the ball, so there's my power. The athleticism in my stance when I'm open allows for more shape in the swing, I feel, so I could produce more spin. I'm getting to spots on the court that are trickier when I'm a little more narrow in my stance. High balls, okay? I didn't jump as a kid on forehands, and nowadays, even at my height, I'm 6'7", I'll jump on a lot of forehands if they're sitting up out of open stance because it's just so simple to do. You can just spring off the ground, where if you're in this position, it's just pretty awkward to jump and then rotate. So let's look at it this way. It's extremely athletic. There's probably five invaluable things about it with regard to power, spin, placement, all those things I've said that the majority of forehands that you guys should be hitting should be in open stance. Save that low ball, save those narrow shots, whether it's the down the line pass or the middle ball. Use that neutral stance. Let's stay away from the closed stance unless you need a circus squash shot. All that being said, the stance, um, you know, be aware of it, right? You want to be aware of it. If there's a little bit of a hybrid going on, don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be totally precise. You guys can work in and out of your stances so long as they're working to get you the right shot, okay? So that's all I got for you today. More stuff on the forehand variations coming later this week, but until then, please click like below this video, and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, as well as check down below me in the description of this video. You're gonna find the link to three free courses that Mark and I have put together. I think you'll find those great as well. All right, so until next time, be well, and we'll see you soon at Daily Tennis Lessons.